Hello, you guys. Let's talk about simplifying expressions today. Okay, so some important vocabulary. The word terms in algebra, let's say I had 3x plus 4y plus 9. I kind of think of it like a train, like this is a car attached to this car attached to this car. Each one of these that I've boxed are called the terms, and they're always connected by addition. So 3x is a term, 4y is a term, and 9 is a term. Okay, the word coefficient just means the number in front of the variable. So 3 is in front of the x, so 3 is the coefficient. 4 is in front of the y, so 4 is the coefficient. Now when you hear me say like terms, that just means they match. So for example, if I had 2x plus 7x, they match because they both have x's, so that would mean a total of 9x because 2 plus 7 would make 9, and they both have an x, so it's 9x. Now, a constant term is just plain old numbers, so there should be no variables touching them. So, for example, the number 6 or the number 11, they don't have variables after them, so they're what we call constant terms. So, I want you to notice something that I've crossed out all of these directions and I just want you to simplify just simplify that means we're gonna put together things that match <clears throat> so the first thing I did was write 6x minus 4 plus 3x plus 8 we'll see that minus sign don't forget grab your red add a line and change the sign so this becomes 6x plus negative 4 plus 3x plus 8 and now I just look to see what matches so See how the 6 has an x and the 3 has an x? They match. I underlined them in blue, and so I can put them together if they match. So 6 x's plus 3 more x's makes 9 x, okay? And then I put my plus sign, and I brought down the negative 4, brought down the plus, brought down the 8. But now my numbers match. Uh, numbers can be put together. So I have negative 4 plus 8. Well, I can add negative 4 plus 8 just makes a total of 4. So now I have 9x plus 4. Now this is where I have to stop. And this is important that you hear this. See how the 9 has an x and the 4 doesn't? They don't match. And since they don't match, they cannot add together. You have to stop here. This is as far as you can go. Okay, take a look at guided practice number one. Again, I crossed out all of these, so all you have to do is simplify, and you have my permission to do that in the homework also. Just simplify. Okay, so I wrote 2x plus 4 minus 1 plus 9x. We'll see that minus sign. I grab my red and I add a line, change the sign. So that gave me 2x plus 4 plus negative 1 plus 9x. Now I look for things that match, and I notice that the 2 has an x and the 9 has an x. So they match, so I'm going to put them together. 2x plus 9x makes 11x, and then I brought down the plus, brought down the 4, brought down the plus, brought down the negative 1. And now I look at the, the numbers. See how they're plain old numbers? They don't have any variables after them, so they match. So 4 plus negative 1 makes 3. So I get 11x plus 3. Now remember, this is where I have to stop because notice how the x or the 3 does not have an x. So since they don't match, you have to stop. Okay, so we're going to keep doing the same thing in example 2. Combine like terms. So they gave me 4 plus 6a plus 5a. Well, notice how the 6 has an a and the 5 has an a, so they match. I'm going to put them together. So I brought down the 4, brought down the plus, but now 6a plus 5 more a makes a total of 11a. And this is where I have to stop, 4 plus 11a. I have to stop here because the 4 doesn't have an a, so they don't match, so that's as far as you can go. Okay, take a look at b. Negative 10x plus 3x plus 8y. Again, I see that the negative 10 has an x and the 3 has an x, so they match. I can put them together. So negative 10x plus 3x makes negative 7x. Because remember, negative 10 plus 3 makes negative 7, and they both have an x. And then I brought down the plus, I brought down the 8y. 
Now I had to stop here because the negative 7 has an X and the 8 has a Y. They don't match, so they can't go together. That's as far as they can go. All right, then take a look at example 3, simplifying expressions. Now we're going to go back to doing the rainbows, and we haven't done those in a long time, okay? So listen, the distributive property. So look at example A. 2 and then in parentheses 9 plus n and then they ended the parentheses plus 3n. We'll circle your 2 with your red and draw a rainbow to the 9 and a rainbow to the n and then follow the rainbows. Okay, 2 times 9 gave me 18 and then I copied the plus and then start at the 2 again. 2 times n gives me 2n then I copied the plus then I copied the 3n. So I have 18 plus 2n plus 3n. Now notice how the 2 has an n and the 3 has an n, so they match, so they can get together. So I brought down the 18, brought down the plus, and then 2n plus 3 more n makes a total of 5n. So I have 18 plus 5n, and I cannot go any farther. I have to stop because the 18 does not have an n, so they don't match, so that's as far as you can go. Okay, take a look at B. I have negative 7, and then in parentheses, 3y minus 1, and then close the parentheses, plus y minus 2. Well, the first thing I do is add a line and change a sign everywhere that I see subtraction, okay? And you'll see that I did that. And then I circled the negative 7, and I, draw, I drew two rainbows, one to the 3y and one to the negative 1. And now follow the rainbow, okay? So negative 7 times 3y makes negative 21y, and then start, and then copy your plus, then start at the negative 7 again. Negative 7 times negative 1 makes positive 7, and then copy the plus. I brought down the y, but notice how I put that invisible 1 in front of it. I brought down the plus, and then I brought down the negative 2. So now I look for anything that matches, and I see the negative 21 has a y, and the 1 has a y, so they can get together. Negative 21 plus 1 would make negative 20, and they both have a y. And then I put the plus sign, and now let's put the numbers together. 7 plus negative 2 just makes 5. So I get negative 20y plus 5. And remember, that's as far as you can go because the 5 does not have a y. Okay, so take a look at the guided practice with me. They just want us to simplify. That means combine like terms. So take a look at number 2. 3x minus 11x. So when I see a minus sign, I grab my red and I add a line, change the sign. So that makes 3x plus negative 11x. Well, they both have an x, so I can put them together. So 3x plus negative 11x makes negative 8x. And I box my answer. Take a look at 3. I have negative 5a plus 8b minus 1 minus 4a. So I grab my red and I add a line, change the sign at both of the minuses, okay? And so that gives me negative 5a plus 8b plus negative 1 plus negative 4a. And now I look for anything that matches and I see, okay, the negative 5 has an a and the negative 4 has an a. So I'll put them together. Negative 5a plus negative 4a makes negative 9a. And then I brought down the plus, brought down the 8b, brought down the plus, brought down the negative 1. Now I box my answer because look, nothing matches. There's no other a, there's no other b, and there's no other constant. So we're done. Nothing else um, will go together. Okay, take a look at number 4. Negative 3z plus 5, and then in parentheses, z plus 5. Okay, so I copied the negative 3z, I brought down the plus, and then I circled my 5 on the outside and I drew the rainbows to do the distributive property. So I brought down the negative 3z, brought down the plus, and now I do the distributive property. 5 times z gives me 5z, then I copied the plus and then start at the 5 again. 5 times 5 gives me 25. Okay, now I see that the negative 3 has a z and the 5 has a z, so put them together. Negative 3z plus 5z makes 2z, and then plus 25. Now I have to stop here, remember, because a 25 does not have a z. All right, take a look at number 5. I have 6, and then in parentheses, t minus 7, and then they ended the parentheses, minus t 
plus 12. So a couple of things I did with my red. I added a line and changed the sign in front of the 7. I added a line and changed the sign in front of the T, but I also put that giant 1 in front of the T so I could see. All right, and then I circled the 6 and I drew two rainbows, one to the T and one to the negative 7. So now I do the distributive property. 6 times T gives me 6T. I copied the plus, start at the 6 again. 6 times negative 7 gives me negative 42. I copied the plus, I brought down the negative 1T, brought down the plus, brought down the 12. And now I put together like terms. So the 6 has a T and the negative 1 has a T, so they match. So 6 plus negative 1T makes 5T. And then I put a plus sign, and now I put the numbers together. Negative 42 plus a positive 12 would make negative 30. So I get 5t plus negative 30, and that's as far as I can go because the negative 30 does not have a t after it.